This is Stella. My motorbike. To tell the story from the beginning, we have to go back to the day where I bought it. And that was the 4th of April 2018 in Siem Reap, Cambodia. Really soon after that day, I made my way down south, through the Cardman Mountains, into the deep jungle, and a lot more nice places. After traveling around in Cambodia, for like one and a half months. I was ready to go to the next country. I'm talking about Vietnam. The country where there are supposed to be some of the most beautiful rides in the world. And so, this is my video about my personal travel experience in Vietnam. I'm on my way, I know I am Somewhere not so far from here All I know is all I feel right now I feel the power growing in my hair Sitting on my own, not by myself Everybody's here with me I don't need to touch your face to know I don't need to use my eyes to see I keep on wondering if I sleep too long Will I always wake up the same or so? I keep on wondering if I sleep too long Will I even wake up again? After my first two days of driving around in Vietnam, I reached the city of Dalat, where I went to visit a really crazy house. During the canyoning tour I took part in, I met this guy from Czech Republic and a girl from India, who were also going to drive to the same direction as I was. So we decided we would drive together for the next few days. I was really glad that I didn't have to drive all those roads by myself. It was a long way. The next place where I wanted to stay was about three days of driving away. Because of this long distance we had to go, we always woke up really early in the morning so we can drive as much as possible.
So here, after three days of driving, I almost reached the city of Hoi An. On the last part, I met this guy from Florida and we scared away some buffaloes. Early in the morning, I finally arrived in the ancient city of Hoi An, where I drove around with a rented bicycle. And drank some good Vietnamese egg coffee and some good Vietnamese sandwich called Ban Mi. About a week ago, I talked to a guy from Hawaii and he recommended me to visit the city called Da Nang, which was just around the corner from the place where I was at the moment. So yeah, I decided to go there and have a look and check it out. My initial plan was to stay for like one or two nights, but things changed after I met this girl from America. After I spent a few amazing days with this amazing girl, I obviously couldn't resist to stay a little bit longer, which was a really really good decision. Anime and her family have been living in Da Nang for the last 10 years. And so, they often invited me to come over for some good dinner or to just hang around at their house, which was really nice. And the city itself had so much to offer, so we could do a lot of things together, like playing bowling going up the mountain, watch some fireworks, or just drink a sting and watch a movie at her house. And a lot more. In the end, I stay a little bit longer than five weeks. In the beginning of July, Anime had her flight to America to go to college. But, oh yeah, the time I spent here was just wonderful. And I'm so happy that I stayed for five weeks. Because I knew nowhere else 
when I have had a better time. Here in Da Nang, I also switched to a new bike, which was way more reliable than the old one I had. I call her Crystal. During those five weeks I stayed in Da Nang, I lived at this place called Bubble Homestay, where I met the owner called Hong and one guest called James. We quickly became friends and went to some adventures and had a lot of fun. So, in the beginning of July, after anime went to the airport, it was also time for me to go to the next place. So, I was on the way to the next place, the place called Hui. With me, there was Hong, and one other guest who came with me to the next city. The same evening as we arrived in Hui, Hong had to go back already to look after her homestay. And I? I was on my own again. And after two nights in Hui, I started to drive again to the north. So, on the way up, I made a stop to see some old towns from the war. As I arrived there, I got to meet this Australian guy who was also driving with his motorbike, but in the other direction. And yeah, he recommended me to take a specific trail to the north, the Ho Chi Minh Trail. It's supposed to be really beautiful, so I went for it. And oh yeah, it was, indeed, really beautiful.
One thing that I didn't know about this trail was that it would take me so long to get to my destination. So, after 10 hours of driving that day, it slowly got dark. And in the end, I had to drive for about 30 minutes in the deep jungle in complete darkness. Well, except my great motorbike lights. But in the end, I arrived safely, and it was a really nice and eventful day. In the last part, I barely have any videos. I just captured how I drove on a really dangerous highway, the highway number one which is the most direct way to go across the whole country. That's why there are a lot of trucks and buses. And that's also why I always tried to avoid it. But sometimes I simply couldn't. The next day I arrived at some really beautiful place with amazing landscapes and amazing views. And so there I was, arriving in the final city of Hanoi, where I spent my last few days of traveling before I had my flight back home to Switzerland. Now I've been happy lately Thinking about the good things to come And I believe it could be Something good has begun Oh, I've been smiling lately Dreaming about the world at one And I believe it could be Someday it's going to come Cause out on the edge of darkness There rides a peace train Or oh, peace train Take this country Come take me home again Now I've been smiling lately about the good things to come And I believe it could be Something good has begun Oh, peace train sounding louder Just ride on the peace train Bye. Uh -huh.